version of history than what probably existed uh, at that time. Uh, this is all about the book that I wanted to say. It has been, you know, it was great getting introduced to the book and to Mr. Gopi Krishnan and to our, of course, meeting uh, Jay Kumar sir, even though we have heard him speak on so many occasions. There was a parliamentary delegation that had come to Cochin. And uh, the uh, leader of the parliamentary delegation was K.C. Venugopa. And there was a gazelle evening going on. And uh, he insisted that this part of Sandhan Nilev Sugandha. He said, I'm going to talk about this part. He said, Sandhan Nilev Sugandha. He insisted and that song was sung. And uh, then he told that the others, Jay Kumar sir, I did it. You know, Adetra, English is falling under, he spoke, you know, in English. And then he is a, he is a renaissance man. Because he, even though he is vice chancellor of the university, um, uh, he didn't, uh, you know, harp on the fact that, you know, we are getting English, sorry, uh, you know, we are getting Anglicized or that we are forgetting our mother tongue. He, I think, he chooses to tread the middle path of, you know, of of, uh, of Gautama Buddha, and <laughs> uh, I, I have great regards. Uh, the RB of RBI uh, who can be justifiably proud that uh, a person uh, who is uh, from the Reserve Bank of India, the regulator, has uh, produced a treatise and a play like this. And I also believe that this play, I wish and I fondly, um, you know, um, uh, what do you call? It? Uh, I fondly wish that this becomes a play. Karnam, either a poet, either highly cinematic. Even if you had to read this book with a creative mind, I think it would be like seeing a play before you are, if you are able to, you know, see it through your inner eyes, you will be able to, um, you know, visualize it as a film unfolding before your eyes. I'll just read and stop with these three sentences, which shows the, the poetic, um, 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 what do you call it, um, um, influence on the play and the play with words that has been done. Uh, the opening is the dense breeze forest of Arulwai Mari Hills, Western Ghat, South India. A clear moon sails the skies. A clear moon sails the skies. Stormy winds flurry the jungle tree. And so that is a pointer to the kind of language empl employed in this whole world. So congrats, Sir Gobi Krishnan, and thank you for that. Thank you, sir, for that eloquent uh, speech. Now, uh, may I request C.K. Thomas, our Deputy Director of Dulas and Kendra, Trishul, to speak a few words. Respected Jagmar, sir, Sri Nirmal Chanji. <coughs> and Sri Adi Geshanji, Sri Mr. David Prasad, and Sri Kobi Krishna, and respected invitees. I think uh, Jay Kumar Sala, being a poet, he has already explained what is to be explained. After the release of, of a book, if you talk more about it, it's a criminal act or something which is not supposed to be done to an audience who are really interested to read the book, you know. He has already explained everything and Sri Adhikeshan. That's all what is to be done, I think. If we go on, you know, analyzing the book further, it won't create further interest among all of you who would like to read the book. Jagmasa being a poet, he has put it very poetically, very brief, at the same time touching all the points he was telling. The book is precisely a poem, a prose, which is full of images and imageries, which make it a very good screenplay or cinema script. That's it. Uh, I had the opportunity when we were working for the, for the film, uh, Gandhi, you know, three pages, three pages of the script will be given, some three days in advance before the shoot. And each of us, three of us were there. We were asked to add whatever you need, you think is okay. To add to the humanism 
the particular incident, you know, little, little things you have to add, the subtle things. But in this script, it is filled with all these aspects, you know. You don't have to add anything more for its visualization. Being a poet, he has taken the liberty to recreate history from different angles, taking a little freedom. That's what they were all explaining, you know. Uh, as Jagmother was telling, the push and pull factor also affects the writer. So it's there as he very well, very well said it. And uh, in the book, you know, rather than the factor of conversion, you know, what I feel is a different aspect that is, you know, how the book is relevant today. When we read a book, you know, the present day audience, when we read, whether it is history or whatever it may be, uh, it should be relevant for us. Or there will be something which will really take us to the book, or we may take something from the book. That is the social circumstances of that particular period, the humane aspects. As he was rightly, uh, you know, explaining what Narayana Guru Swami Gadul or uh, Kumar and Asha and all those people, how, you know, the particular social circumstances influenced them to express their views in different ways. So that's the, that's the aspect. So like when I read Mahabharata, you know, the premise or the subtext which I get is entirely different from many others when they read. If I, when I ask some of the students, when we go for taking classes for this Gandhi Darshan uh, education program, we ask them, what do you, uh, each student, you know, whether it's Hindu or Muslim or Christian, we ask them, what do you get from that book, from the holy text, each one. So one student, one, one, one boy was telling me that, you know, it's, a, uh, it's an invitation, uh, you know, to fight against dharma, uh, to fight for dharma. Even if your brother, brother and your family members are all, you know, against it, or if you are forced to fight against them for the sake of dharma. But when I read it, I get a different subtext. I feel that even God says, God asks you or advises you, you should not fight and kill your brother. This is the message which I get. Because when I read it beyond the war, I see the vacuum. What happens to Krishna? What happens to all these people? That the vacuum. So I really feel this is what I get from Mahaparada that you should not fight. Even if God says you should not fight, you should not kill your brother. This is what I get. So in this book, beyond the aspect of conversion, what I'm getting is humanity. What's your humane, you know, uh, approach? Whether it is religion or politics, how far you have love to your brethren? Where, what's the different? I mean, how do you uh, differentiate between low caste, high caste, polluting caste, and all? What happens to these people? So, in all these lines, this is what I see. That's what uh, Jagmas has said. You know, the push and pull factor. There was a high and he could not uh, come in terms with the social circumstances. So that is the basic factor. You know, the polluting community, the plight of the people, how a small child was picked up and uh, to rebuild, you know, you know, all the okay, how these 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 children from the polluting caste is being sacrificed like that. So there are many such elements, you know, there this guy, this guy could not come in terms with that. He had this uh, most humane factor, that feel. That's what compels him. Then, beyond the push, the pull factor, you see, you know, he finds something almost similar in the life of Christ. Immediately, he takes it up, and that's how he moves on. So, uh, like uh, Srinarayana Guru, the Kumar Mahajan is described. So the finally, as Gandhiji said, you know, 
anyande dukham in in uh, Vaishnava uh, Vaishnava though that that uh, uh, bhajan you can see that Vaishnava Janato it means that you know uh, uttamanaya bhaktan anyande dukham tanda dukhamai karana you know the, the true devotee he feels or he has that he can identify himself with the with the sorrows agonies of the of his brother and he he is the true devotee. That's it. That's how uh, he explains it. And the, the, it's a repetition of this thing in the in the particular bhajan. The same way, Deva Sahai, in a way, it is not the whether it is Christianity, whether it is uh, any other religion, whichever may be the religion of politics, unless and until you can in a way identify yourself with the problem, sorrows of your brother, you won't be complete, you won't be in peace, that's it. That, that particular feeling is there throughout the book. And at the same time, I don't think uh, there is any any uh, sort of accusation against the king. Uh, because the king says, you know, we may still give Nalampan a fair chance, Ramayan. We may admit that what followed was an outcome of his folly. He always, you know, in all occasions, he is telling the uh, the same thing. Uh, only the, the human side of it, you know, uh, the pain inside him is intense as the humiliation goes on. So, uh, the position of Devasahai, you know, what helps him, what energizes him to sustain or to suffer all this pain. So here also, the conviction uh, on one side and helplessness on the other side. You can see this in the case of Devasaheim and King. You can see. The King also uh, is telling that very, very, very clearly. You know, at, at times, uh, the king asks, how can Nalambule continue to defy his king? Let Nalambule be detained in the fort jail in the Aravai Muri hills guarded by the palace executioner. That will have an arresting effect on the people who flow to him and stay his conversions. Like uh, when we read Bible, you can see, you know, when Christ was brought to date, he was just telling, you know, he was trying his level best to avoid. Try to save him. Try to save him. Here also we can see in all occasions, he is trying, he is trying his level best to save him. Now, you can see certain comparisons like uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Illinois, he was, is telling, you know, uh, when he was brought to, when this, when uh, uh, Devasaraim was brought to Sri Aishkas, imagined that here was a seed that would grow into an olive tree, breathing in the breath of our Lord in the Garden of Gethsemane. So he is, in a, in a way, he is comparing uh, Devasaraim with uh, Jesus Christ. And he is also helpless. He is telling, you know, he didn't expect that this may come grow to this level. In each and every aspect, uh, you can see how the particular uh, social conditions and also his belief and conviction take Deva Sahayam to this height and how the king and his group, especially in one or two places we can say that you are against uh, Ramayan, but it's a fact in the history and when we unfortunately in India when we read history we call <laughs> that is one problem because we cannot correct history we cannot rectify it rather we can make changes in our future course of life I cannot accuse whoever reads the book cannot accuse Martha Varma, cannot accuse Ramayana it's part of the history but at the same time I can come to certain conclusions. These were the faults. You know, I, we should not repeat. The present society should come up to a level that we will not go back to those uh, those times. That's it. And this is what I gather from this book. 
whenever we read such a thing, we really feel, okay, we had such a past. Whichever may be the whichever may be the nation, whether it is Rome or Greece, India, in India is in a much better level, much better state as far as religion is concerned in a way. We opened our doors to all religions. We can never say that, you know, except in a few cases like this, few occasions, we opened our doors to all religions. All religions which who suffered persecution in very many countries could, could come to India and they could settle down here peacefully. Of course, in a few occasions this has happened. But at the same time, the real problem was the difference or the, the, the black, we can say, the dark interpretations of religion within in our country itself. The, the caste system or the way we accuse, I mean the history, we read the, the plight of the polluting caste, that's it. Unfortunately, we have not, especially in, in North and World, when we travel, we can see that we have not gone beyond a level, we have not improved beyond a level, we have to go further. Works like this really help us or give us that push and pull, or that stir, to look at these facts and improve ourselves. And as far as the book is concerned, it is a very good, as Jay Kumar sir was telling, a very good film script. And if it's, if, and as he was mentioning, we need. A